Question 3 says, the temperature difference between the inside and the outside of a home on a cold winter day is 57 degrees Fahrenheit. A. Express, express this difference in the Celsius scale, and B. Express this difference on the Kelvin scale. And so this is really um, quite simple. We just use the, the conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit that we've been using, and uh, we'll, I'll show you how we use the math. So we've been saying that the temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to the temperature in Celsius times uh, 9 degrees Fahrenheit over 5 degrees Celsius plus 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And so we can say that the change in, in Fahrenheit, so if we had a, a temperature in Fahrenheit final, minus the temperature in Fahrenheit initial, we could say that, well, the temperature in Fahrenheit final equals this expression of Celsius final, and the temperature in Fahrenheit initial equals this expression in Celsius initial. So we could say that the temperature in Fahrenheit final minus the temperature in Fahrenheit initial, and, and so what we're saying is there's a change in temperature the inside of the house is a different temperature than the outside of the house so there is a change in temperature between the inside and the outside of the house so the the formula for change is final minus initial so the final temperature uh, minus the initial temperature and that's what we're looking at so we can set that up as the temperature in celsius final times nine degrees fahrenheit over five degrees celsius plus 32 degrees Fahrenheit minus minus, and we'll put this in parentheses, the temperature in Celsius final times 9 degrees Fahrenheit over 5 degrees Celsius plus 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So if we distribute our negative sign it will go to two places because these are being the these right here are being multiplied, so you don't have to distribute it to the nine fifths. You only have to distribute it to the to one part of that term. And so, because there's an addition sign right there, we have to distribute it over here as well. And so, what we'll get for that part of the expression is minus the temperature in Celsius final times nine degrees Fahrenheit over five degrees Celsius, uh, and then we'll get a uh, a minus 32 degrees Fahrenheit and so all of all of this minus all of this and you'll see that we can can our our temperatures in Fahrenheit end up uh, the 32's end up canceling each other out so we're left with a final uh, formula for the change in temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to the temperature in Celsius final times 9 degrees Fahrenheit over 5 degrees Celsius minus so that the 32 degrees is the the plus 32 and the minus 32 canceled out so we subtract the temperature in Celsius initial and actually this was supposed to be initial and that's initial so subtract the the temperature in Celsius initial times 9 degrees Fahrenheit over 5 degrees Celsius and and you'll notice that you know, within each of these terms we have something that is uh, exactly the same so we can factor that out and so that we can say the change in temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to 9 degrees Fahrenheit over 5 degrees Celsius times the final minus the initial or we could say so we could say the temp the temperature in Celsius final minus the temperature in Celsius initial or we could just say that this whole term is the change in temperature in Celsius so uh, the ul ultimately we can express this very simply as the temperature in Fahrenheit or the the change in temperature in Fahrenheit equals 9 degrees Fahrenheit over 5 degrees Celsius times the change of temperature in Celsius.
And so it gets, whenever we just look at the change in temperature, we're, we're, set, we're, we're not looking at the 32 degrees. Uh, the, the additional 32 degrees is only needed if we're just converting from an absolute temperature. So the change in temperature, it tells us, is 57 degrees Fahrenheit. So that should equal 9 degrees Fahrenheit. And we could solve for, for change of uh, temperature in Celsius just by multiplying by the reciprocal. So the change, the change of temperature in Celsius is equal to the change of temperature in Fahrenheit times 5 degrees Celsius over 9 degrees Fahrenheit. So over five nights. So, uh, so finish this off, and so we want to know the change in temperature in Celsius, and so we'll just multiply the 57 by the reciprocal, and we should get that the change of temperature in Celsius is equal to 31.667 degrees Celsius, and now. The it, it asks express this difference on the Kelvin scale, so we'll basically have to do the what we just did to drive what the change formula is. So we know that the temperature in Celsius is equal to the temperature in Kelvin minus two hundred and seventy three point one five. Um, I hope you're getting an intuition that the the change in temperatures are going to be exactly the same, but we're, I'm going to show you why really quick. So if we say that the temperature in Celsius final minus the temperature in Celsius initial, we're going to say that that's equal to um, the temperature in Kelvin final minus 273.15 minus the temperature in Kelvin final minus 273.15 and so if we distribute the the negative sign to our two terms what we get is the change in temperature in Celsius is equal to the temperature in Kelvin final minus 273.15 minus the temperature in Kelvin final and whenever we distribute this minus sign to the negative 273 we get plus 273.15 and uh, and so this the 273 the positive 273.15 and the negative 273.15 cancel each other out so we get that the temperature in Celsius final minus the temperature in Celsius initial is equal to the temperature in Kelvin final minus the temperature in Kelvin initial and I don't know why I did the final there again same thing so, in other words, the change in temperature in Celsius is equal to the change in temperature in Kelvin. In other words, every time the temperature in Kelvin goes up one degree, that same temperature converted to Celsius would also go up one degree. So, at zero Kelvin, we're at minus 273.15. At one Kelvin, we're at minus 270. 2.15 at 2 Kelvin we'd be at minus 271.15 at 3 Kelvin we'd be at minus 270.15 and on and on and on one a ch one change here equals one change here and so that gets us back to we know that the change in temperature in in Celsius was equal to 31.667 degrees Celsius so the change in temperature in Kelvin is going to be exactly the same.